Um, I mean, one of the media things that I just want to ask you is, you know, it's I find it rather interesting, you know, that someone wants to, um, or the space that you're in, you know, creating a bed and breakfast mm -hmm. slash venue slash creative space slash spacey atmosphere is is a pretty unique concept. Many would argue m way ahead of its time. Mm -hmm. um, you know, what 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 do people? What's the typical response to that? You know, do people think you're crazy, or do people think you're you know genius? What's the what's the story? Oh, there, there's totally a mix of all of that, you know? I don't know the percentages, but I've definitely... <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. I've heard um, a little bit of, like, are you serious? Or, you know, some people really love it, and they become, like, hardcore about it, you know? So, but it's great, because we're building a network with international travelers. So once we, you know, announce that we're on the moon pad, or building that moon pad, um, it's going to be really cool. And, you know, another thing that made it seem very more down-to-earth for me, or, like, it's very achievable is, uh, you know, there's a spaceport in New Mexico. It's called the Spaceport. So they're throwing this futuristic music festival. Lady Gaga's going to perform there. And um, I had told all my friends, like, I've been telling them, I'm going to um, take Virgin Galactic probably to the moon pad on the moon when I do my concert. But it was funny because about um, a few months ago, it was announced that she was going to take Virgin Galactic because Virgin Galactic, that's what Spaceport is. It's their airport. And they're going to be building these all around the world and stuff, too. But basically, she's going to go up in Virgin Galactic, come down, and do a concert. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. You know, So it's like things like that are happening quickly. We have the electric cars. You know, There's a lot of technology. I feel, what is that thing called? Singularity happening? Like where everything's just kind of aligning at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I really feel like something like that is happening, where we're becoming conscious and more kinder to each other Just and progressing as humanity totally and it feels like it's happening faster yeah what a great what a great outlook on life we we really appreciate um that about you definitely and and always so creative and so ambitious when when do you plan on going to the moon what's the deadline i would i you know realistically i say i used to tell myself like 30 moon pads like after i opened 30 around the world but i think i could realistically do it in five years go to the moon I really think and so. And do a show up there? Yeah, because I'm going to be doing major concerts, so um, it's those will help raise more awareness. Yeah, and, you know all of that stuff. So what are what are some of these major concerts? You know, you can plug it in if if any of you listening listeners are interested in, in watching Derek perform live. Cool. Well, I'm um, the next the the show that's coming up this Sunday is in Venice Beach at Summerfest. So um, I'll be, that's like my coming out show. I'm really going to give it my all. I've been in the rehearsals a lot with the dancers. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm doing like my whole set and I'm pretty excited about it. Um, yeah. Very cool. Um, that's, we're definitely excited for that as well. You said that was in Venice Beach this Sunday? Yeah, this Sunday. And then there will be the Moonbridge Music Festival. Uh, the Moonbridge Festival will be an event to raise awareness. There's going to be major headliners for that show. And I'd uh, love to have you guys there. <laughs> you know, I think it can be great for both of us, for sure. And, um, you know, it was, it was really interesting. Like, um, kind of like I had a moment to reflect about a week ago. And um, I was just thinking, like, it's kind of crazy how my life is like turning out right now because yeah. like um i started like from nothing like i was, it was a really really small town and um you know my mom she had passed away like two years ago so she she passed right as moon pad i had the last thing we talked about actually was um like moon pad and so i was telling her i was wanting to open one and so that's why i painted this one orange because that was her favorite color uh -huh. but um you know it's just so I was left with like nothing, but I, I was like, you know, put in this position where it's like, okay, you, there's like two ways you can go. You can either go really positive or you can go like really negative, you know, because I had a friend who, who unfortunately, um, he, he's going on a different path, you know. So um, it was just cool to see like, you know, how the determination and the hard work and persistence is really working. And, you know, opening up the second one makes it feel more real for me. And it's just going to help take things to the next level. That's awesome. I mean, I really, I really resonate with what you said, um, like 10 seconds ago about when you, when you, you know, discover fat, bad news or something just really, um, you know, really, really negative happens. There's only two directions to go. It's either forward or backwards and, and right. you can't possibly stay in the same place. So it's either if you have that determination, that hard work and that ambition to, 
to overcome it and move forward or you know digress backwards and and that ends up putting you in a worse spot than you were before so it's it's pretty awesome seeing that you know you overcoming such a difficult situation moving forward launching these moon pads getting yourself out there as an artist and opening up your second location and what has it been two years that's that's yeah. definitely very impressive Derek thank you thank yeah. you um yeah it's just like you know I I guess how I decided to work with it was you know just become mature and responsible and more importantly like figure out like what do I want my mission or in life to be or my purpose like what is my purpose going to be and you know I had this dream since I was a kid so I'm like you know everything happens for a reason I'm going to really like go for this go and for the moon shoot for the moon shoot baby shoot for the stars yeah yep that's awesome kxsc.org or the tune in radio app thanks for listening <laughs>